Hello everybody and welcome along to Cosplay Tutorial number 6, I believe. I am Simulation for the Nation and today we are looking into Grain Carton with Combination Mode enabled. Whereby, as you can see, I have the same uh, setup as earlier in yesterday's video there. The JCB Fast Track is Carton Grain and it's going to be all being well. It's going to be coming to pick me out um, in the field here because I'm in the combine, I'm full. And so what we're going to see is... But the fast track's going to follow it, make its way over towards me. Uh, it's searching for this machine. Uh, it recognizes that we are full and that we need to empty out. So, what we're going to see is exactly that. Uh, we're going to make sure it works on this round, and once it does, we'll uh, we'll show you just how we did this. Really, uh, as you can see right now, the the um, fast track is not coming across the grain, which is a, a first key step. Uh, this is something that was kind of programmed towards the end of FS17, whereby it recognizes crop that has been cut and crop that has not been cut and therefore drives on um, or around the crop that's yet to be cut. So it is coming to me and um, we should find it's going to pull straight up and we'll empty this out and then all being well. Uh, this is a large grain tank so it's going to fill the trailer straight up, the trailer will, the tractor will drive away. We'll continue um, with the combine, we'll make, we'll, as soon as we see that the, the tractor and trailer returns then we'll show you exactly what we've done. Uh, but for now, as you can see, it's all working very well. We're using the exact same grain carton course as we used in yesterday's video, which is the uh, grain carton from 100% uh, full. Uh, if you want to learn a bit more about that, then do click in the link uh, provided and you will be able to follow that tutorial. But right now, here comes the tractor. And all being well, it recognizes that the, uh, we, the auger is out. And uh, what we should see is it now pulls out to the side, like that. Come on. Taking its sweet time, but in it goes. So as I mentioned, because this is such a large grain tank, we're going to see that this fills up straight away. Uh, this one tank will pretty much fill this trailer, I do believe. Combine is ready to go again. So what we'll do is, uh, I am going to stay in the combine and try and uh, get another load. In fact, what we will do, as soon as this is ready to go. Oh, not quite full, would you look at that. So we'll just continue. Probably needs only a little bit longer, so we're going to uh, we'll get this next load. Uh, we'll get the combine tank filled again, and then we'll come back to you and we'll show you the rest of it. So one of the key features here you can do when you are if you are operating a combine and you have course place set up for your driver, uh, you can request driver. And what that will do, it knows it is the fast track here, and it will send over the um, the grain cart, or in this case the grain trailer. The reason we're going to do that is because whilst we're on a nice long straight, we can put out our auger. And it allows us to fill up. We know we just need a little bit to refill the trailer here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. This actually, this uh, ideal is a lovely combine. Uh, but yeah, so the fa here comes the fast track now. Uh, we'll get this all filled up with this load, and then he will get himself away. It is a nice, just extra feature that allows you to be in control of when you do and do not have to unload the combine. Um, makes it logistically a little bit easier. And it also works the same. You can flick if you have multiple machines, uh, cart and grain. You can flick between which one you want to use. That's no problem at all. We'll just, uh, we'll just slow it down. And so it's not going to take much to fill them up, I don't think. goes and he's away so whilst that tractor is away we're gonna let it go uh, it's gonna follow the route there um, as you can see we've got the course lined up it's gonna go back to its start point it's gonna follow the, the route all the way over to the grain elevator in the corner um, now Excellent stuff. Beacons on. Perfect. 
Now there are a few little differences um, with this course than the course we set up yesterday. So we're going to have a look into those right now. So first thing we need to do is look into changing the type of course we're going to be using here. Uh, the course that we originally created was this one, uh, which is the as I hover, grain transport load at start, which means it's 100% and it drives from uh, the start, the start arrow here completes the course tips and stops here and then you fill up from a stationary point so that's not what we want to look into now uh, what we're going to look into next time uh, or this time sorry is combi uh, empty combine and offload so we're going to click on that um, we need to make sure that the course player recognizes which combine we're looking for so we click on the combine and the magnifying glass here uh, now there's two different ways to go about this you can go with automatic search where you can select the field that you're working in and course label do the rest I, however, like to use select manually just in case I have more than one machine uh, and it allows me to choose which one because you can kind of guess which one it is based off of the distance, which is always moving. Uh, so you select manually, that is done there. There are a few different things we can look into on our settings. Um, road speed is very much like the other one, it will gather all that from recordings. Let's maybe crank that road speed up a little bit, field speed up a little bit, sorry. Um, we come into our uh, mixer settings here as I like to refer to them as. Uh, we have start at 50%, drive on at 90%. So that's when it's going to, um, how it's going to offload and when. Gives us our, um, our side offset, so where it needs to be in position to the vehicle. It will know that one based off the dimensions of the vehicle. It will automatically find the right place. And the same with vertical offset as well. And that means that when the combine is 90% full, it will drive in to the, um, under the auger and it will be unloaded. Uh, assume that the auger pipe is out, that's the main thing. Uh, and start up, what it'll do is it'll stay here until the combine reaches 50% full, and at which stage it will then go to, uh, it will um, go to follow the combine. Uh, so what we need to do now though is set it away. So we're currently in, uh, there's all these different configurations as usual. So we have a uh, start at first waypoint, uh, next closest, nearest, and uh, current. Uh, so, we're going to just go, let's start, uh, we'll go start at first. Oh, um, nearest. So what it's going to do right now, it's looking for the combine again. It has found where the combine is, so it's going to follow the combine, um, get close behind it there, should sit turn pretty soon. There we go. And what I'm going to do just to make sure this works is just stop that. Pull on my auger then, as you can see the, comp the tractor immediately pulls up and then we're able to load it. What we'll do is we'll just get rid of the course play here. Lovely. As you can see it will stop when I stop as well. And it will continue when I continue, uh, which is always nice. That extra little bit of control. You can see where it's positioned, it, it's offset is perfect, so it's right in the middle of the trailer there. Uh, and what's really good is, as well, if we'll get to the end of this road, we're going to actually lift up the header, and we're going to spin around to the right here, we're going to go to the other side, uh, where we'll continue. And all being well, we should see that the tractor trailer will follow us around. Here it comes again. You can see it kind of keeps a, a, a maintained distance behind us. And now we know because we had an almost full load there that it's not going to take too much more to fill the uh, the tractor there. So if I bring up my course play settings again, what I can do is I can go back into the exclamation mark with the combine. I can hit request driver. And the round he comes. And as soon as he reaches uh, full capacity here, he will disappear. 
uh, and continue the route again. And it, that is pretty much all there is to it really. It's nice and easy, nice and simple to program. Um, and we should see in a second or two, I don't know if this will quite fill up. There he goes, he is done. And so what's going to happen now is he's going to go back to where the start arrow is on the waypoint over there that we created and he will finish up, from, go to the uh, grain silo from there. So it's very simple, once you have it all set up there, uh, it will work a dream. Uh, we're going to leave it here though, so thank you ever so much for watching. Um, as you can see, he's actually decided to come around this way because he recognizes this crop in between where he, the location of the tractor and where the waypoint is, so they're going to go around. Uh, but we'll let him figure that one out and he'll come back uh, with an empty trailer sooner rather than later. Uh, so that has been it for uh, stage 2 of Green Card and I hope you have found this useful. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to Simulation for the Nation. Uh, if you do have any questions, comments or queries with regards to cosplay, do let me know down below and I will endeavour to answer them where possible. Uh, but for now though, I'm going to finish off this field, so thank you ever so much for watching. Do stay safe, enjoy what you're doing as always, but most importantly, see you later.